Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chrysler and today I'm filming a Harry Potter collection. I'm gonna try to do this by categories to make it easier. I think I'm going to put where I got it from in the corner, one of the corners as far as store goes, in case you wanted to get them. I'm gonna start with some plushies that I have. I have one Pygmy Puff and one Hedwig. I'm going to go into pins and accessories next. So I have a set of these tiny little crests and my Hufflepuff one is somewhere but they are very tiny and it does come with the Hogwarts crest. I have a pin that is a Hufflepuff pin that looks just like this. This is a Ravenclaw one. That is my boyfriend's. Mine is somewhere. One Captain pin, a Marauder's Map lanyard, one Hufflepuff tie keychain, and a Time Turner keychain that is missing the middle because it's in my car somewhere. The next category is homeware stuff. I have one set of washcloths with each house crest. This is what they look like. This is obviously Gryffindor. And then here's my Hufflepuff Quidditch Captain towel. I have a quill with its holder and some ink, a cauldron cup that doubles as a makeup brush holder, a Marauder's Map tumbler, a Slytherin mug because I was originally sorted into Slytherin when Pottermore first launched, but I am now a Hufflepuff. This mug is a color changing mug and I'll show you a clip of what it looks like when it changes. A Marauder's Map travel mug, a bright yellow Hufflepuff mug, a plastic butterbeer mug, and the last mug is a Harry Potter mug from the exhibition that Discovery had years ago, almost 10 years ago in New York City, where they had all of the props and costumes before they had the tour in the UK. So I went to that a very long time ago and I cannot wait to see all the things in the UK one day. This is a map of Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade that you get when you get a wand from Universal Studios and I hung that up so I consider this art. And here is a Rowena Ravenclaw chocolate frog collectible. I got this five years ago, six years ago. Here is a Demiguise print from Newt Scamander's book, a gadget decal set that I have still not used because I don't know what to do with it, a Hufflepuff banner that also can be put on a stick so you can wave it around, one Triwizard Cup that also lights up, this beautiful wood piece of artwork that has Hogwarts Castle. A very large poster with all of the movies. Also got this at the exhibition. A very tiny Hogwarts Express. A figure of Norbert in his egg. And the last home item is this Hufflepuff blanket slash tapestry, tapestry. And I'll give you a look of what it looks like because it is beautiful. Now we're going to move right on to the wands. I have a very small wand collection, so this should be really fast. I have Hermione's wand, and this is an interactive wand. Ronald Weasley's wand, George Weasley's wand, and a miniature version of Tina's wand. This is one of those mystery wands, and this is actually made of metal. Next up, we have some pops, and I only have five. The first one is Hermione in her pink Yule Ball dress. She's so cute. Severus Snape, Professor Dumbledore in his purple outfit, Luna Lovegood in her uniform, and the last one and my most recent purchase, Ginny Weasley playing Quidditch. I also noticed the other day that all of my pops had different colored hair, so that was pretty cute. Next, we're going to go into some media entertainment things. The first thing is the Harry Potter VHS. This is the first Harry Potter thing that I probably bought or my mom bought for me because this is so old. I have a box set of the first three movies. I did get the second movie, but I gave that away. So I have the first three in the two disc um, editions and I love the covers of these so much. The Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, a holographic version of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, a holographic version of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, and the last thing is the Harry Potter video game for PlayStation 4, the entire collection. And I will start playing this again in the fall. I just like playing video games in the fall and winter. The next category is bookish things, and the first thing I have 
is these little Harry Potter page clips. These are the professors and Dumbledore is currently being used. I have a Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows a plastic bookmark. The Harry Potter postcard coloring book. The Fantastic Beasts original screenplay. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. A Journey Through a History of Magic. I have here Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The reason why I don't own the first four is because when these movies came out, that's when I started reading them and I borrowed them from a neighbor and I listen to audiobooks now. So I listen to them a lot, but I don't read them. So I do want to get a full set of the books. I'm just not sure which set I want to get. The next category is accessories. I have a Hufflepuff patch that I don't know what to put on, possibly a denim jacket in the future, a time turner necklace that is very long, a Hogwarts Express nine and three quarters, King's Cross, bottle necklace. Michael got this for me somewhere upstate. This is an owl necklace that is carrying a little letter. There is actually a little piece of paper that has a Hogwarts acceptance letter. This is from Comic-Con New York. One pair of Time Turner earrings, a Hufflepuff headband, a Hufflepuff tie. I hate that these don't match. This Hogwarts is my home cap. This Hufflepuff racing cap. At least that's what I think of when I look at it. And the last accessory is this scarf. I skewed over to the side so I can show you guys all of my wearables. I've broken them down into strictly Hogwarts and then all of my Hufflepuff items because I do have quite a bit. <laughs> so I'll start with the Hogwarts stuff. So the first thing is this sports bra. Love this sports bra so much. This Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry tee. This Gryffindor um, Potter shirt. I hardly wear this now. I got this a very long time ago. This black t-shirt with Hagrid flying across the moon. A girl's Hogwarts crest t-shirt. This is a, I don't know, like a sporty t-shirt. And then it has Hogwarts on the back. I wear this all the time. And some Hogwarts sweatpants that say Hogwarts down the side. Now we're getting to the Hufflepuff stuff. This was a girl's t-shirt for women's and I cut it because it was getting old. So it's now a Hufflepuff muscle tee with a tie. I can wear this with a sports bra underneath and like work out in it if I want to. This very large baseball tee that has a velvety badger. It says Hufflepuff on the bottom and whale at the top. A distressed Hufflepuff Quidditch shirt. This is a boy's Hufflepuff shirt that I cropped. And the last one is a t-shirt that has the quote that the Sorting Hat says in his song and it has a little badger. I also have a couple of things that are hidden away because it's currently summer in New York and these are winter items. So I have a pack of socks and this is one of the pairs that has the glasses with the lightning bolt. The other pair is gray and it has the stars that are on the corners of the books. And then the other pair has Ron, Harry, and Hermione's name on it, and it has a wand. They're locked away somewhere. <laughs> I also have a pair of yellow over-the-knee Hufflepuff socks. They're yellow with black stripes. And then I have a pair of over-the-knee Hogwarts crest socks that are black. The very last wardrobe related thing is something super special to me, and I'm so excited to wear it the next time I go to Hogwarts, or I should say the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it is a Hufflepuff robe. This is the one from Universal Studios. I am just so excited to be able to walk into the park with it and wear it to like Fantastic Beasts. I love having this in my home and I love looking at it. The last category is bags, and I do have one bag that I'm going to open with you guys because I just received this parcel in the mail. The owl actually delivered it to the wrong house, so I had to go get it. But it's here now, and I'm so excited. I have this Wizarding School tote, a clear Hogwarts Express makeup bag or any type of bag, a Hogwarts Express ticket to clutch, it has a little strap, a small chocolate frog pouch, and a Newt Scamander briefcase makeup bag. Okay, so let's open up this parcel. I am so excited. This is actually from Primark, so I ordered this on eBay because I really wanted it, so here it is. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I got myself the Hogwarts letter bag, and oh my goodness. It's darker than I thought it would be, but it is so nice. Ah, oh, this is so cute. I love that the hardware is gold. It has this nice handle. Oh my 
gosh. And it has the glasses and lightning bolts and the H. Let's open this up. Very secure. That's super roomy. Oh, the color is so nice. How adorable. So this is the last item that I have added to my collection. I'm so excited. I'm really happy and grateful for people that are selling things um, on eBay from Primark because I would never have been able to get this. That's my whole collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be doing more Harry Potter videos. I hope you're having a magical day. I'll see you in the next one.